everyone, I'm Chris Price, I'm Ausfish's Director of Habitat Programs. Salt marshes have been decreasing in size for many, many years now. They were often seen as an area that was really easy to clear or to fill and build on, uh, put new development on, those sorts of things. So, so much of our salt marsh has been lost over the years to our development pressure uh, and in some places continues to do so. So our estuarine and ocean fish really find these areas of salt marsh important because they're a great source of food. So the water doesn't get up in here all the time, only on the super high tides, but that means that the salt marsh is collecting food all of the time and that food is picked up in those high tides and taken back with it to the estuary. The other thing that happens is that the little fish that are growing get up into these salt marsh areas and they get all of those rich nutrients in the food and they really grow quickly in here, out of the way of any predators, very shallow water. So that's everything from tiny little flathead and brim, you know, right through to some of those ocean species that you get. They all use the salt marsh in the early parts of their life cycle. Salt marsh and see what we can find. So one of the first species that you'll notice in the salt marsh is this grass that covers quite a lot of the salt marsh area. It's a salt cooch, really tolerant to salt, and uh, it's Spirobolus virginicus is its technical name. And you'll find that it's got great cover over a lot of our salt marsh. When we're looking for the health of salt marsh, we want to see good green cover of this plant. So one of the succulents you'll find in a salt marsh, and there's many of them, is this little sea blight. And the way that the succulents deal with the salt that they're uptaking out of the water is that they send the salt right up into their extremities of their, the plant, which die off and then they drop off. So then they have new growth and the salt takes up again. So that's how they work. You'll often find that the tips are very red or orange and that's because they're laden with salt. Another common species you'll find in the salt marsh is this sea rush, also known as Jun Juncus krausii. Uh, it's a really great filtering plant. It captures all of the nutrients that are running off um, from a, the areas like the road and uh, filters the, that water before it ends up in the salt marsh and then in our estuary. Salt marsh is an incredibly sensitive habitat. It doesn't like to be trampled. Keep that in mind if you're coming in, not to drive over it, not to walk over it too much because it can take up to 20 years for some of these species to recover from that. 